Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Chris Burns Outdoors. Uh, today I'm just going to go ahead and paint paint up a, a lure. I kind of got into this about a year ago, painting all my own hard baits. So I was going to do some top water uh, painting today, and I thought I'd just bring you in on one of the lures that I'm going to paint. Um, I enjoy it. I got into it about a year ago. It's kind of hard to find certain colors that I like or... Um, or something that I might want to use for a certain lake or a certain time of year or even the watercolor so this is something that that I really enjoy um, the you can go out and buy one of these baits it probably cost you 12 to 15 bucks I can go ahead and paint this up put my own hooks on it um, and do everything myself for probably around three bucks maybe a little less because I buy everything in bulk so anyway Hope you enjoy it. I'll walk you through the steps and kind of show you what I do here, how I paint each one. So here we go. So this is the uh, the table that I kind of use um, for painting. And it's got a fan that hooks up to it right here and kind of goes, I can put it inside if I want. Um, and paint inside when it's cold out and a lot of times I'll paint in the winter time when I can't fish so it kind of works out really good um, but uh, yeah and then it's got these LED lights on it but being outside I don't need that kind of I can see pretty good so so kind of use an airbrush what I do is I I spray the uh, the lure down with a with a white base and I do that on everything to get started um, and then what I'll do here is just make sure the gun's working. Now on the base, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll turn up the compressor a little bit. And I just kind of work that, that paint back and forth and just try and cover the whole lure. Um, a good base helps because it really brings out the colors the other colors that you're using. I get all these blanks online. There's a there's a store that you can buy all the blanks and you can get all your hooks. Actually, there's a ton of them out there. But um, anyway, just kind of cover it. You don't want to go too thick because you you don't want it to run. So what I'll do is in between. In between coats, I'll just hit it with an air dryer, and it doesn't take much. That makes sure that uh, that second coat kind of sticks. Make sure you get where the clips are. You can hear them and these got BBs on them too so they kind of knock. This is a top water and it imitates uh, a lure called the Zero Spook. Um, so like I said like a $15 lure. So I just kind of get a good good coverage. Kind of do a fluorescent bottom on this one with a black top I'm just kind of working it back and forth. These little clips work pretty good. You can get a lot of this stuff right at the Hobby Lobby. I actually got my first set from um, off of Amazon. 
and it got, came with a compressor and pretty much everything I needed. And then over time, I've kind of kind of made it my own with little things that I've found that are easier or work a little better. One was the gun. Amazon's gun was okay, but this Iota, you can't beat it. It's just a really good, durable airbrush gun. I'm fairly new to it. Um, you know, fairly new to airbrushing. Okay, so once we get the base in there, I just kind of clean my gun out a little bit. Um, and all this is is just water mixed with uh, like a Windex. It's got to be ammonia free. And just kind of clean that out a little bit. And what I'll do is I'll put water in it, turn the compressor up, and that, I just spray it so nothing, nothing comes out anymore of that color. thing I have learned is to make sure when you're done using your gun to really clean it out good otherwise that needle is so thin that that paint will just just stick right in there. I normally have a, a better little squeeze bottle but I couldn't find it. Actually I, I know what happened. It cracked so I had to get a new one. Okay so now we're going to go with the fluorescent yellow um, and the fish that I'm going after here really love this color I don't know why but they do you don't need a whole lot either guys but once I put the color in there I just kind of spray that until it comes out and know that the other color is completely out of the gun then I just kind of work that back and forth just like I did the base it's just really no different but here we want this belly to stick so we're gonna go heavy heavy on the belly I've also got a ton of designs and stuff that I do and maybe on another video I'll show you guys how I do that how I put patterns in on them now even though I'm gonna cover this top with black paint um, I'll still I'll still cover everything just so I know I don't have any missed spots so I'll hit everything with a fluorescent but really light on top and there again just drying it that way there I don't have to sit here and wait in between coats I always try to make sure I get up by the clips and under the mouth. You see how it's starting to brighten up a little bit. When you hear it spit like that, I don't know if you heard that or not, that means that the paint's getting a little low, so we'll a couple more drops in there just to be safe what it'll do is it'll splatter and then you'll have little bubbles on your on your lure and it'll look it'll look pretty bad And this this just a regular latex type paint it it washes right off if you get it on anything so we're we'll just make sure we cover that bottom really good 
so it sticks out when it gets into the water. This next lake I'm fishing is really clear. So I'm hoping these colors stick out. Size here, bring that fluorescent up. So spit a little bit. I think. Go a little bit more, guys. You see, I kind of like adding to it to my gun instead of putting a bunch in there. I'll just put a couple more drops in at a time, it only takes a second. Getting there now. Now, when you turn the compressor down, that'll uh, that'll make sure you don't have to, you know, it won't splatter out as much, or you can control it a little bit better. like I said you clean your gun out really good that's important over my phone and next we're gonna go with uh, with a black top a little bit of splatter down down on the sides I don't know, it's hard to find these, this color. I don't know what it is, but that's what I like about it. I can, you can see I've got tons of colors here. I can do tons of different things. And I got a bunch of different patterns too I can do. Like I said, I'll show you one of those here next in, in another video. This here, guys, just a, a dark, dark or a deep black um, oh, I'm just gonna hit this real quick okay. okay I'm going to Turn this down even a little bit more on the compressor with this black because it'll come out pretty quick. And I just kind of work that back first. You know, hit the sides a little bit. I'm trying to go just over halfway down this lure. And then I, I like to cover the eyes a little bit and the head. Kind of see that. Same thing here. Just real light back and forth. Take your time doing it, because especially with black. Worst case scenario, you start over and you go white on top of everything again. And yes, I've done that several times. Now with the black, I like to dry that more because it'll run quicker. You can definitely see defects in that black.
kind of what I'm looking for there. Pretty close, guys. Maybe a little bit right here. And I'll hit the back one time. All right. I think that's what I'm looking for. It's amazing some of the patterns and stuff you can do do with these. A lot of the, the stuff I use for patterns is something I just get in the fabric section of uh, Joanne Fabrics or something like that. If my wife ever wants to go there, I, I have no problem driving her there. Okay, so that's kind of what the colors look like. Now what we do is we I'm just gonna put a little water in there and clean this gun out a little bit, especially with that black, guys. Then the next step is we dip it. Oh, I'm sorry, we put the eyes on it. I'm gonna let that water sit there. And um, so I've got a ton of different eyes um, that I can choose from. And you can get these on Amazon or whatever but probably gonna go with these red ones right here so for the eyes I'm just gonna hit it real quick especially if I'm gonna touch it or whatever just want to make sure it's really dry before this next step goes is that's it see how that belly kind of shines it's got that black on top it looks perfect kind of exactly what I was looking for there wasn't much to it, really. Okay, so now I like to tip that thing down like that. And then uh, these eyes are all different sizes, so you can kind of pick the size that you want for that pocket. And that right there about the right size so I like to get the eye out first and then what I do is just take a little shot of uh, super glue and that helps hold that eye it and I'll sit right there in the pocket and I kind of just push that in like that and then I'll flip it over the other side remember grab your eye out first so while that super glue's there you're not messing around with that kind of go at it pretty quick just a little dab not much. That's it. And that's kind of the eyes. Now this zero spook is a top water, so what this does is it's Kind of skirts across the water okay so then the next step guys is we go over here and we dip it I got these little copper wires and I go through the hooks 
up top and I create create a hook just like so use that and then what I do on the other end is I take another piece of the copper wire and I go through here and this is the drip piece so when I dip this it kind of drips right off of it and it doesn't stay at the eye this is some strong stuff here and then I just take this dip it down in there leave it in there a second and then I slowly pick it up that drain a little bit. It's kind of it, guys. That's pretty much. Now, the other good thing, too, is that stuff will go right over top of those eyes and kind of hold that eye, hold those eyes in, too, so they don't come out. But that's kind of what it looks like. So that's it, guys. Um, once those dry, we'll come back. We'll We'll add some hooks and then we'll put them in our tackle box and they'll be ready to fish. So hopefully you liked the video, Chris Burns Outdoors. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, comment, and like. It sure helps the channel a lot, guys. And please let me know what you think of my videos. All right, hope everybody has a great day. Out.